everybody, this is like a must have. Hi, I'm Herbie Hancock, and Melodyne Editor is amazing, you know. I'm working on a new record, and it's going to come in so handy. I started to use it yesterday because I actually wanted to change one of the notes in a, in a chord that I was playing. You know, that was impossible before Melodyne Editor. Now I can do that, and, and so much, so much more. And, and it doesn't interfere with the sound at all. It is very convenient to use as a plug-in or as a standalone. You know, so everybody, this is like a must-have. Hi, I'm Ricky Lawson, and um, I'm a drummer and record producer. Um, and I use Melodyne, and um, it's one of the most incredible products I've seen in the last. 10 years. I think it's going to change the industry um, because it's changed the way that I work and how I'm able to um, manipulate audio, not MIDI, but audio. Now we can go in, we can tune vocals, we can tune instruments. Um, after the guys have left and gone away and we need to fix something, we can do it on the spot. And it does it so easy, um, it's seamless, and it's at an incredible price. Hey, this is Jordan Rudis of the group Dream Theater. I'm very happy to be here at NAMM 2010 at the Miracle Company, uh, Celimony. And uh, I came over here because I wanted to just say a few words about Melodyne. Uh, recently, I got turned on to Melodyne, and I just think it's totally amazing. And if you don't already know about it, you must find out about it, because you can do things with Melodyne that you can't do anywhere else, some incredible things. And I'll let you find out about some of those yourself, but just take it from me. It's fantastic. Hi, I'm Vernon Reed from the band Living Color. The thing about Melodyne DNA, to be able to take a stereo file and then change an individual note in an already mixed thing is, is like magic. The science fiction author, Arthur C. Clarke, said, any sufficiently advanced technology will be indistinguishable from magic, and Melodyne is like magic. Hi, my name is Tony Levin. I'm a bassist and um, I play with Peter Gabriel and with other people and I make a number of albums, including in my home studio and occasionally I sing and I'm a user of Melodyne, a very happy user for a number of years. I won't say I put it on my vocals, but I won't say I don't. And uh, especially useful for me because of course it can be as subtle as you want and it can be used in a way that it's really a tool and it's not a brutal uh, effect on your voice. Good product. My name is Husky, uh, recording engineer. The fact that I can get in and I can uh, work with the formants, and the fact that I can get in and I can, beyond only a you know few cents, I can really stretch things up and down pitch-wise, and I can really stretch them time-wise. Hello, my name is Rob Hill. I'm a producer engineer in Los Angeles, California. My favorite Melodyne moment is just the ease and how, how easy I can correct tunings on just on the fly, just instantaneously. Everything that I do has to be corrected. Just because in today's standards, you just can't have a natural, organic, you know, thing, unless it's somebody that's absolutely so brilliant. You know, and especially in texturing vocals and doing pads and harmonies and so on, in order to make them work perfectly, then they have to be tuned. And Melodyne just works extremely well for that. This is Jeremy Harding, producer and manager of reggae artist Sean Paul. And I'm um, here at the Melodyne booth at the NAMM show. Uh, Melodyne, to me, has become an indispensable tool for really making sure that all of the vocal work which you spend so many hours doing doesn't go to waste when the artist leaves and you realize that you have some corrections that need to be made. It can be used as a creative tool as well, which I also do sometimes. 
Uh, the first time I showed this to an artist, they got very scared. They said, oh, we don't need backup singers anymore. We don't need... I said, no, that's not really the case. I think the case is you always got to make sure you got a great vocal take, essentially. But Melodyne is just that one polishing tool that gives you that sort of there's nothing wrong perfection that you try and strive for in the studio to make sure that all of that time spent in really gives it a good result. And as a creative tool as well, I mean, it's become indispensable, actually. So can't imagine not using it. Great product. Hi, I'm Joseph McGee, and I'm a supervising music mixer at Walt Disney here in Burbank. And uh, I've been using Melodyne on vocals for many years now, by hand, and it's amazing, amazing, the sound quality and the flexibility. I'm constantly changing vibrato. I'm changing scooping in and out. Um, it's, I'm uh, constantly dealing with the formant. And you know, when someone doesn't open their palate enough, I get it up in there when it needs to be. And yeah, it's just phenomenal. And everyone that hears the vocals is amazed. I live by you guys. Hi, my name is Rob Arbatier. I'm a uh, composer and producer here in Los Angeles. Worked with a lot of different artists and also uh, wrote a lot of music for TV and uh, film, trailers, all kinds of stuff. Do a lot of mixing, a lot of post-production. Uh, I've been using Melodyne since the very beginning, and I just basically can't live without it. I've used it to repair the vocals uh, of a lot of artists who none of them would want me to talk about who they are, but uh, you've heard my work many times and never noticed it. And uh, I've also used it to create harmonies. I've used it to tune instruments. I've used it for a lot of different uh, and varied things. At this point, I basically can't live without it. Uh, anytime there's any sort of a tuning issue, I end up turning to Melodyne.